Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rapid Scan 3D tutorial today. We're going to talk about legacy boundary fit and benefit of it. The, the boundary fit commands creates NURBS surfaces inside the patch boundaries using a fitting algorithm based on the mesh. So the top part, what you see is the mesh, 3D patch network and surface. This is more cat friendly. Um, the bottom is mesh auto curve network and surfaces. That's basically created with automated system. So algorithm calculates the surfaces and gives you uh, the closest patch creation. Um, so the boundary fit command is useful for creating cat-like fitting surfaces, uh, creating high quality fitting surfaces, then auto surfacing and quick making a cat data from a mesh. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the spline on mesh uh, 3D sketch and we're going to activate snap on the curve. When I hover over, you can see all the dotted lines. It's basically giving me a preview how close I am to those edges. So I'm going to follow these path. You see, it's just basically snaps on it. And if it gets over a curve, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to fix those. And make sure that when you create another one, um, it is connected to the next one. So zoom in to this area real quick. You can see it snapped it. So I'm going to stop right there. See, we're good. We're going to merge these. Now it's single line. Once we complete that, we're going to continue creating more patches. Gently move our mouse over these curves. And if it spills over, don't worry about it. There's a way we're going to be able to adjust these really nice and clean. So we're going to move. Let me just turn the light off a little bit more so I can see better. I'm going to move these curves all the way here. See those edges a little bit curved. So don't worry about it. What we're going to do, we're going to actually split them right there. And then we're going to trim them. Uh, that's it. And once we're done, we can just kind of drag it a little bit forward. And then we're going to drag them right there. Now we have a nice clean edge. And you can click on these points. Just be careful, don't click the whole line. You can always do Control Z and then it brings you back. Now we finish all our 3D sketches on the mesh surface. What we're going to do, we're going to go Add-ins, Legacy Boundary Fit. Once we click, um, we're going to see a lot of options here. And so we're going to click on the next stage. And then we can see all that patch network is created. Now we're going to preview it. What computer does is uh, creates the patch network calculation and tells me how close I am. If I'm missing the nodes that they're not connected, um, so I can always go back and fix it. Now I'm going to change this to, uh, let's see, the background white. I'm going to zoom in. Ten thousands of an inch, and I'm going to change this to a five. Perfect. Now if I hover over, you can see how close I am. It's extremely useful to use this uh, technology. It's very unique uh, for reverse engineering design process that provides effective way to easily and quickly create 3D freeform surface body from the freeform shape of a mesh. Um, now we're going to export this to SOLIDWORKS 
or any other CAD software. And then start from beginning. And then we're going to click on it. I have 2020. Um, Geomagic Design X works on pretty much all the SolidWorks. And then we're going to receive Export Succeeded. Once we're done, what we can do is we can just analyze it, how close we are as far as the curvatures. We only have one uh, boundary fit surface. We're going to hide those lines. You can see it's so much cleaner than auto surface. Auto surface basically calculates and gives you rough uh, network connection as close as possible to the, the surfaces that mesh is created from. So once we rotate this, we can see all that zebra stripes and then we can do uh, curvature calculations and that's it thank you very much for joining us